after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one. As both teams trying to gain an edge. Boy, you gotta like what John ja Moran has done in this game. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. This is his challenge, to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Getting underway in the second half, here's the five for Steven Silas. Manning the backcourt, it's Wall and Green. Jayshon Tate out there with Kenyon Martin. And it's Wood in at the five, down low. Jackson, left side. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's his fourth personal foul. Sometimes with bigs, foul. you prefer to send them to the line, but Jaren, line he's a knockdown Brisbane, shooter from there as Jaren well. Jackson Jr. Taking two shots. First one falls for him. Jaron Jackson, I think about his mobility on the defensive end. He can dart out to the perimeter shooters and recover to the paint better than most guys his size. No good on the second free throw. The Rockets shooting the ball at 43% from the field. Down low. Martin. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Martin's got his third bucket of the night. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Brooks outside. Pass to Adams. Here's Jackson. Pulled the shot a little left. Bounce goes his way, though. Jackson's got 10. There is the flexibility of Jaron at the offensive end. He can post, he can put it on the floor, or he can just catch and fire. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. This is a close-knit group. They feed off one another's energy. Tate against Brooks. Hangs it midair and converts the double clutch layup. Give him eight. Getting hit on that shot there, but Dylan's girth allows him to play right through it. 90 seconds into the second half now. Now here's Wall. He's got 10. Here's Green. And he stays with it. Second chance shot. Oh, the swat by Adams. I can see he's pressing a little now, trying desperately to help them shrink this deficit. Count it. Steven and the Grizzlies lead by five. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. For Houston, they've gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Wall, the pass to Wood. Adams grabs the miss. Adams has got eight rebounds in the game. And they're dialed in offensively. Sure are. Staying in attack mode and at the same time playing under control. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Rockets. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. So for the Rockets, House comes in for Tate. And it's Gordon in for Green. And here's Wall. And he lobs it up. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Now Moran. He's got 13. Three-pointer, Brooks. The Rockets pull it in. Martin's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Outside wall. And 
and the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. And Wall really helps you across the board. He fills up the stat sheet at both ends, but he also has that presence, that it factor. Whether winning or losing, his confidence never wanes. All right, the Rockets making a switch here. Nuaba's checked in. It's tied up with that one. And after a series of major injuries, Wall still remains one of the more athletic players in this league. Moran against Wall. Outside Moran. Pass to Jackson. Doesn't go that time. And Houston will come the other way. Here's Nuaba. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. For Memphis, they've gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Outside Morant. Melton against Gordon. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line to try to make it a three-point play. Defensive ball, Daniel over a 6'8 wingspan for D'Anthony Melton. He's a pest at the defensive end. At the line for your Grizzlies, D'Anthony Melton. One shot. And rebounds, steals, deflections. Melton's a stat sheet stuffer, Smitty. And he also has great activity with his length. A 3 and D combo guard. Think of someone like Avery Bradley. That's a role Melton could feel. The Grizzlies have gone 4 of 6 from the floor in this third quarter. To the paint. Jackson, the pass to Adams. And that one drops. Shooting at a high clip. He's found ways to get quality looks. Christian Wood. That's his first personal foul. They're a team foul. At the line for Memphis, Steven Adams. Shooting one. The free throw drops for Adams. You know what I like about Steven Adams is his intangibles. He's enthusiastic. He's a leader by example. He's a role model for the younger players. Now a timeout called by Houston. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. Bain, he's checked in for Melton. Memphis on the six-point lead. Here's Gordon. Five points in the game. Takes it inside. Ooh, nice concentration to hit the double-clutch layup. Gordon's got seven points. <laughs> That's tough to take as a defender. You've got position, and you still get beat. Pass to Brooks. To the middle. Here's Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Burning around the rim is just effortless for Jackson. He could play on my team any day. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Memphis. What tremendous passing we've seen from them today. A very unselfish performance all around. And another thing, they're doing a great job of getting inside and converting around the rim. I really love their aggressiveness. And that one falls for Jackson. They're really shooting better from the free throw line since halftime. That's a big plus if you're holding a late lead. Ball with it. 13 points in the game. Oh, it's stolen by Adams. Jackson, pass to Adams. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. 
That's his Christian second Wood foul. picks one up. Possibly the strongest foul. guy in the league. Steven Adams At forces defenses to be assertive Steven with him. Adams. Two shots. Free throw drops for Adams. Hey, when you start locking it down at the line, good things tend to happen. It's both from the stripe. They're doing great work at the free throw line this half. That bodes well for their chances to close out this game. Ball against Moran. Now here's Wall. Defense is right there. House misses. For Memphis, they've gotten six of eight shots to go and looking good since the break. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Thanks, Brian. Last season, Draymond Green called out what he saw as a double standard. When players ask for trades, they're vilified. But teams can announce they're planning to trade a player and sit him on the bench in the meantime, and then it's taken in stride. Guys, he feels like it's disrespectful. Well, that's something to consider, Allie. Thanks. Good stuff. First free throw is good. And collectively, as the game has progressed, they've been shooting really well from the charity strike. And so Jackson nails both of them. Here's Wall. 13 points in the game. Shot to stop the run. Brooks with the rebound. Brooks has got four rebounds now. Here's Jackson. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Moran's got three assists now in this one. They have laid on him all quarter, and it has worked to perfection. And for the Rockets, they're shooting a disappointing 38%. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Wall on the take. Count it. Good. John Wall's got 15 points. Fantastic night for Wall. Looks like the guy who tore up the league when he first arrived. Moran against Wall. Moran, no good. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. Back to Brooks. Pass to Bain. Five to shoot. Second shot opportunity. Gordon pulls it in. Houston shooting the ball at 43% from the field. Oh, they get a hand on it. Stolen by Jackson. On the wing, Brooks. Shot from 12. Here's Adams. And he makes it on the layup. Adams has got nine points now in the second half. A consistent hard worker. It's fun to see Steven time Adams time get his offensive game going. Timeout called. Houston. They're sending guys to the charity stripe way more than they should be. You'd like to see better positioning defensively. Shangun. He's averaging about six points per game. Pass to Matthews. Gordon on the wing. The three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Gordon's got five points now this quarter. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. And here's Adams. to Moran from outside the arc counted from distance Moran's got 16 
You like how Adam surveys the whole floor, allowing him to spot the wide open band. Brooks against Nawaba. It's tipped. And the Grizzlies pushing it up now. Here's Moran. Oh, there's Moran with the slam. Okay, check out the handles of John Moran. Wow, what a crafty player. For Houston, they've gotten seven of 16 shots to go so far in the third quarter. With the teardrop. Good. Five for nine shooting so far. And this team's struggles are not his fault. He's putting in work at the offensive end. Outside Moran. Pass to Brooks. Back to Moran. Six on the shot clock. And here's Brooks. He's guarded by Nuala. It's stolen away. Here's Gordon. Gets it. He's six for ten and looking confident out there. I love it. Beautiful job getting to the rim, making a play. And the Grizzlies call time here. Changes here for the Grizzlies. Tillman's checked in for Adams, and Clark has subbed in for Jackson. Memphis has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Nuaba against Moran from deep pain. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. They still have time to make this a game, but they really need to focus in because they let this game get away from them a little bit. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. And they want a second opinion on that call. The signal for the coach's challenge has been made. People were worried that this would slow the action down. But with so many close calls in every game, the NBA was smart to adopt this challenge policy in 2019. You know, one thing this does for a coach is let his players know he's got their back. If they're adamant that the call was wrong, he'll back them up and make the refs take another look. So they see clear evidence of a bad the call, and they're going to overturn it. Probably the right decision. And give credit to the officials for recognizing the mistake and correcting it. Nobody likes to say they got it wrong, but they fixed it in a hurry. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. Now here's Clark. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's Matthews. Brooks defending. Here's Nwaba. Good on the Maybe shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. Garrison Matthews. Memphis has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. And here's Morant. He's got 18. Clark outside. Back to Morant. 6 to shoot. He can't hit that time. Great D that time from Nawaba. You know, one of the things that makes John Moran so special is his ability to drive and finish with either hand. A natural yeah, righty, but he actually prefers going left. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Down low. Looking to end the drought. And he makes it. Tillman's got seven points. Great vision by John Morant. Has the passing talent to average double-digit assists. Houston has gone 7 for 17 from three-point range so far in this matchup. 
And Smitty, you look at Ja Morant's numbers. He's even better finishing with his left hand. It's special because around the rim, you don't know whether he's going to finish with his right or left. He makes it look so easy. Also passing, he can throw lobs and make hook passes with either hand. As a floor general, that's a tremendous asset. Pass to Bain. There's a minute 47 left in the third. Back to Clark. Jacks up a three. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Nuaba's got four rebounds now. And Gordon with the basket on the assist by Nuaba. Gordon's got 19. Well, they're still losing, but it's not because of him. He's been lights out this quarter. Timeout called. Memphis. It may be a player's league, but the coaches obviously play a big part as well. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. And the Rockets making a change here. One twenty-seven left in the third. Up top, Morant. Defended by Gordon. Dunks it hard with one hand. Wow, he makes it look easy. Very important points. I mean, they're trying to hang on to this lead now. They needed that. Now Gordon, he's got 19. 19. Pass to Matthews. And it's all from three-point range. Memphis leading. Here's Bain. He's got seven. Oh, stolen by Tate. Here's Gordon. Here's Martin. And that one, no question, powered it down. I just love the aggressive finish. Now, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. Outside Moran, pass to Clark. From deep three-point range. It's rebounded by Houston. Tate's got four rebounds in the game. Gordon, left side. Cash money. Out of his 14 attempts, he's drained nine of them. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Gordon against Moran. Here's Tillman. And he dunks it down. Oh, man. He got fancy with that finish. <laughs> he may be trying to provide the spark they need to break this one open. Pass to Matthews. Puts up a three. And it's Tillman with a rebound. Tillman's got four rebounds in the game. Up in time. He knocks it down. But wait a minute. The officials getting together here. They may want to review this one. And not so fast. The officials are going to check that shot again and make sure they got it right before we go to the fourth. Uh, yeah, the replay makes it obvious. I mean, he got that shot off in time. It should be an easy decision for the officials. So the replay was conclusive. Call overturned. Grant, that one's going to count. And B.A., you can argue against replay all you want, but at the end of the day, you want it to be a level playing field. You want the call to be correct. And so it's Memphis leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. What has them in front right now? By and large, they're taking great shots. Back to the game after this break. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. 
You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. John Moran is out there with Desmond Bain. Then it's Brandon Clark. Then it's Dylan Brooks. And it's Anderson in at the power forward position. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. With two hands on the rock, he powers it through. Totally in control, protecting the ball the whole way. And the Grizzlies shooting 51%. Good clip from the field. Morant against Green. Morant, no good. And it's John ja Morant with the foul. John ja Morant. That'll be a second foul That's of the game. John foul. Wall, he's checked There's in for the Rockets. Rockets substitution, John Wall. The Rockets trail. The shot won't fall. Now the Grizzlies take it the other way. On the wing bay. And he converts the layup. And the Grizzlies lead by six. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. 60 ticks off the clock here in the fourth. Inside, here's Green, and it's hammered home by Green. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. On the wing, Bain. And it's blocked by Wood. They get it back, and the basket by Clark. We've gone about a minute and a half into this fourth quarter. Clark against Wood. The shot comes out. Now Memphis takes it the other way. To the inside. Here's Clark. Cranked it in off the glass. And it's an eight-point Grizzly lead. Poor interior defense. If you play him soft, he's going to kill you. Wall, the pass to Tatum. On the take. That one goes in. Jason Tate. Here's Moran. Brooks outside. The three. Wood grabs the board. Not in rhythm. He had the two triples in the first half. None so far in the second. Pass to Wall. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Just five to shoot. Here's Tate. That shot off. Good D by Clark. The Grizzlies have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Outside, Anderson. Now here's Brooks. Back to Anderson. Pass to Moran. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Moran's got 20 points. The creativity from Moran. Always inventing new ways to score. Here's Wall. Morant with a defensive effort. The Grizzlies have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Brooks drives in. And so it's Houston with it. Trailing by 10. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Back to Wall. With the drive. And the big finish by Wall. And you can't talk about acrobatic finishers without talking about John Wall. Man, he's explosive. Brooks outside. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. The officials were right on top of that one. First team foul. 
At the line for your Grizzlies, Dylan Brooks. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops a first. They're cashing in on their chances at the line this half. That's helping them big time. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Adams checked in for Clark. Jackson comes in for Anderson. And it's Melton in for Bain. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And you know, this team, they're still learning how to use Dylan Brooks. He's a little bit of a tweener in terms of size and athleticism. Green, the pass to Wall. Outside Tate. Pass to Green. Three-pointer. Knocks down the triple. Sometimes it's all about patience. His first three of the game, something to build on. Morant with it. Brooks outside. Now Adams. Now here's Morant. Wall covering. And it's Morant off the drive. And that one falls. Morant's got nine points now in the second half. Now you see him. Now you don't. There's only a few players that are faster with the ball than John Morant. For Houston, they've gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Inside. Here's Wood. Ooh, some solid defense from Adams. The Grizzlies have gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. Wall against Moran. Brooks from outside. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Moran's got assist number eight here already in the game. Down low. Tate passes to Green. Outside wall. And he lobs it up to the rim. Adams grabs the miss. Memphis has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. To the paint. Stolen by Wall. And here we go. The Rockets in transition. Martin misses. The Grizzlies have gotten seven of their first ten shots to go during this fourth quarter. Brooks outside. Moran, the pass to Adams. Melton with the ball. Pass to Jackson. That's tipped. It's stolen by Green. It's Tate on the wing. Let's it go from deep. The rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's Melton. And he goes in for the dunk. I like that line by Jackson. Young bigs who can see the whole floor. Don't come across them that often. Boy, the Rockets really having a tough go here. Timeout call. Houston, it's time to talk this over and try to put a stop to this run. Because right now, it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. And now let's present our New Balance player of the game. John Wall. And I just love to see a player who plays with an aggressive mindset. I mean, he had the energy and the intensity all game. He didn't waste any time when he had his chances out there by attacking the rim. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, here's the summary of what Steven Silas went over with his team during the break. He gave his guys plenty of encouragement, saying, quote, you got this. All we have to do is finish strong, and I know we can do that. Firing up his squad for the stretch run. Back to you. Thanks for that, Allie. Wood passes to Green. Ball for three. The Grizzlies pull it in. Adams has got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after it. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. From deep, Moran. Oh, the Grizzlies get it back. Wow, another opportunity. Just everything going their way. Pretty much the story of this game. Here's Tate going inside. 
The kick out to Wall. They need this. That shot off the mark. Now Memphis takes it the other way. He has gone ice cold this quarter. Obviously not helping their calls. The Rockets shooting at 31% here in this fourth quarter. It's Tate on the wing. Back to Green. He nails it. That's his fifth make in 11 tries. Talk about making halftime adjustments. You love what they're doing with him now offensively. Melton outside. Pass to Adams. And here's Morant. Shot clock at six. Here's Jackson. Good. And the setup by Morant. Jackson's got 19 points. Good concentration by Jaron. A little contact on the shot. No problem. Houston has gotten just one of their four threes to go here in the fourth quarter. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Elbow shot on the way. Jump shot is good that time. His team is down because he's not shooting enough. There's no reason he shouldn't be getting more looks right now. Now here's Melton. To the middle. Outside for Brooks. Pass to Moran. Now Jackson. Rebounded by Green. Here's Wall. Driving inside. And the big finish by Wall. Getting up and finishing with muscle. Love seeing Wall attack the basket with ferocity. Moran against Wall. Melton outside. Memphis needs to get off a shot. Fades and shoots. Rockets with a rebound. Outside Tate. Pass to Wall. Back to Tate. Launches a three. The shot no good. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. I don't know how many shots he's missed this quarter, but they're going to have to find offense from someone else. Tate against Brooks. To the inside. Oh, deflected. Adams. It's rebounded by Houston. Tate's got six rebounds Steven now in the game. And the foul on Steven Adams. That's his first foul. The Grizzlies making a now switch here. Baines Pedro checked in. Grizzlies, Desmond Baines. Houston now. Time running out. And here's Wall. And there's the lob. Now Jackson. Pass to Bain. Two minutes remaining of the game. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Left side Tate. And he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. I guess you don't need two hands when one will suffice. Hey, as long as you don't lose control. Timeout call. Memphis. They're in front by eight. We've got a minute 48 left in the final quarter. Five on the clock. Oh, they need this. Wood grabs the board. Wood's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Here's Green. Bam, basket's good with the assist from Wall. Wall's got ten assists here tonight. So active. 
Wall against Moran. And Wall pulls it down. The Rockets trail. You know, I think it's desperation time for them. For them to have a chance, everything has to go right on both ends from this point on. Memphis has gone one for five from downtown here in the fourth. Wood against Adams. Brooks outside. Back to Adams. Pass to Bain. Jackson left side. Shoots over Tate. That's good from Jackson. On the assist by Moran. And the Grizzlies lead by eight. Really feels like they're in control. They've got a big lead with time dwindling. Reason why they've tightened up the vice grip a little more each time up the floor. We'll see if they can close this one out. Timeout call. Houston. They're trailing by eight. There's 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's 37 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Two points. That one goes. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Timeout called. The Grizzlies. They're leading by six. 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Four seconds left in the fourth. And an intentional foul right there. And that's his second person foul. Second team foul. And that's an intentional foul. John Wall. That's his third person foul. Third team foul. At the line for your Grizzlies, John Moran. Two shots. Two shots. He gets the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. The upside Ja Morant has is exciting. An explosive young talent with an outstanding work ethic. And so he drops them both, and it's an eight-point ball game. Here's Wall. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Martin. And good. Assist Coming on the assist by Wall. In the NBA, you let anyone shoot inside five feet, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. And now they decide to foul intentionally. That's his fourth personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for your Grizzlies, John Moran. At the line for two. on the first and that makes it a seven point lead so he gets them both and it's an eight point ball game there's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter honestly they're just down by too much to mount a comeback and you know disappointment starts to set in a little bit you fought all this night it just wasn't meant to be and so they Rockets foul intentionally. Foul. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, it's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. At the line for Memphis, John Moran. Taking two shots. Drops the first one, and that increases the lead to six. And so both free throws good, and it's a seven-point game. He 
doesn't waste a chance to pad their lead. It's been some solid free throw shooting. Timeout called. Houston. They're losing by seven. 15 seconds left to play in the fourth. Fifteen seconds left to play in the fourth. Here's Christopher with the putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. I love the relentless attitude he showed there. Got himself in great position the under the glass. Fire. They had the presence of mind That's to know exactly where the fire. rebound was going. Team is in the pool. At the line for him, John Moran. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. It's the first one, and that increases the lead to six. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a seven-point game. Eight seconds left in the fourth. And here's Tate outside. They grab their own miss. <laughs> Those second chance buckets are major bonus points if you can get them. And so the Grizzlies take the win. Boy, they didn't make it easy on their fans or themselves. But at the end of the day, everyone on their side is happy. Yeah, happy indeed. The momentum shifted away from them a few times, especially early on. But give these guys credit for sticking with the game plan and finishing the job. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Steve Smith, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for being with us, and we'll see you next time.